It's an exciting day. Service members from the Eisenhower or the Dwight D. Eisenhower strike group are returning home this weekend. Today, the helicopter squadron landed at Naval Station Norfolk. Miles Hood joins us live from there where the hel helicopters landed about just 30 minutes ago. Miles. Yes, yeah, Stephanie, there hasn't been a dry eye in the room since the blades have stopped turning. Many of these families running out to meet their pilots because it's the first time they've seen each other in nearly a year. Now, we're just going to take a look over here because that's where the families are still reuniting, still hugging, still kissing and having a great time. Listen, this squadron is a part of the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower Strike Group. They've been in the Middle East for nine months now. All of these families are looking forward to hugging their loved ones for the first time in a long time. Parents have been reuniting with their kids, spouses are reuniting with their partners. Around 30 members of this squad have landed here at the station's day. Everyone happy to have their family whole again. It's been a long 10 months for us and we're getting ready to retire. We've got one more year and so this is probably our last deployment. Um, but it was a long one and it was hard. We didn't have a ton of communication and um, we didn't get to do very much as far as connect. So we're really excited. here are extremely excited to have their loved ones back to be home with those that they love and if you can hear the whirring of the birds that is because another strike group from a different attack group is landing right now so they're experiencing these heavy emotions that they that this families here have and more families will be able to experience it tomorrow as the Eisenhower the entire Eisenhower strike group is set to land tomorrow reporting live in Naval Station Norfolk on Miles Hood for 13 News Now. What a good day. Thank you so much, Miles. And the happy homecomings continue tomorrow with the arrival of USS Philippine C and USS Gravely and USS Dwight D. Eisenhower. 13 News Now will be there all weekend long.